Hello, everyone. My guest today is Jonathan Wolowski. He's building a company called Giga3D.com. It's an on-demand manufacturing tool that makes this stuff easier, ordering parts easier. Jonathan, you ready to take us to the top? Yeah, how's it going, Nathan? Thanks for having me here. You bet. So, so what does the company do and how do you guys make money? So what we do, we connect manufacturers with uh, with clients such as um, 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 engineering companies and engineer and mechanical engineering. And the real motivation for for getting for getting this done was Asaf, my co-founder. He used to manage as a CEO of few 3D companies, and then he, he quit to do something completely different. Uh, what happened when he started working on the other thing is that people called him from his previous work and told him like, okay, we want some uh, we want some pricing for some model, and we want some pricing for some 3D work. And he said like, now nah, I'm, I'm not interested. I'm doing my other startup. And after maybe 10 or 15 calls like that, he realized there is a little bit of business here. Um, so, so what we did at the beginning to just validate this idea is was to make a simple online form where people, mechanical engineers and such, would upload their STL. STL is like a, a file for mechanical engineers when they want to print their parts. Um, so they just upload upload it, and we would tell them, okay, there is a fancy algorithm that will do the price quoting for you in real time. And actually, it was just a staff answering emails really, really fast. Um, after we validated with a few customers, we decided we were really going to develop such an algorithm, and this is what we did. So how many customers are paying for the tool today? Okay, so uh, here are some numbers. I know you like numbers. So we started seeing, we started this company in March. We launched in mid-April. We have 15 manufacturers. Uh, we have 10 customers. Five of them are returning. Uh, we have about 30 transactions since April. And average cost of order is about two k uh, dollars, and we have about thirty thirty percent margin profit on it. Okay, so thirty transactions through your platform. That w- explain what a transaction actually means. You know, name the actual company. I mean, you list Pepsi and Coke on your website as as a user. Maybe explain how they use you. Okay, so we have we have actually uh, there's a mechanical engineering on Coca Cola. They're working on new prototype. I'm not allowed to talk about this. So they, they, they want a new prototype, and the old way will be to just uh, go to some engineering house or, or manufacturers and, and communicate via email or communicate via phone. And this would take days to price just something simple as like $1K k dollar to $2K dollar uh, part. Instead, they go to our platform. Uh, they just upload the, the, the STL or the, uh, the um, solid part, whatever it is, and they get instant pricing immediately um, after they're happy with the well, they can change a little bit of the configuration to make it cheaper or more expensive depends on what what they like and what the configuration is and and they, they just check out via paypal or credit card or they just do a, a bank transfer if they prefer. so you've done that 30 times and coke is on average or c- customers like coke are paying two thousand dollars per transaction that's correct of which you're making 30 percent of your own revenue so that is what about uh, what is that, $600 or so? That's correct. Okay. And then, and, and is this a recurring sort of tool or do you keep have to, you have to drive new transactions every month to keep making money? Yeah. So we, this is the marketplace tool. So we, we have to, we have to drive new revenue each time, but 10 of our, of our customers, sorry, five out of the, our 10 customers are re, uh, returning. So in average, we have about every customer makes about two transactions a month. So that means you're making what ten customers at twelve hundred bucks a month on average means you're doing about what twelve thousand dollars a month in revenue. That sounds funny like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. And how do you right? So how do you scale? So you have two places here. You have to find the Coca Cola like engineering leads on one side, and on the other side you have to find the man. Is it the manufacturer or what's the other side of the marketplace? Correct. So, um, so th- that's correct. That's like a, a classic chicken and egg problem we are uh, facing now. So um, the manufacturer part is quite easy because manufacturers need work, especially now with all the coronavirus. Uh, a lot of work that's supposed to be scheduled is now they don't have it anymore, so they, they need more work. So this is the easy part to, to get them on board. Um, the hard part about it is that the, 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 most of them are a little bit old school, especially when it comes to sheet metal and CNC. 
uh, they're a little bit more old school, so you need to show them and they, they see the product and see like, wow, this is the future. I just came back from a meeting with, with like really old school CNC guy and he said like, wow, this is what you do. This is completely the future, but he didn't really understand how the algorithm works and so on. Um, yeah, the challenging part, the, when, when Unitons, all right, work, sorry. Can you can you name a manufacturer that you would connect, like that Coca Cola would connect with through your platform? Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to to provide any of the names of the manufacturers, and this is by the contract we have. But I, I'm just saying that we're operating now in Israel, and we have uh, we have a few manufacturers. Most of our manufacturers are in Israel, and some of them in Europe, in Italy, and some of them are in China. Can you name a manufacturer that you currently don't have as a customer, but is similar to customers you do have? Yes, I can think about... Um, like is Foxconn in China, is that the kind of manufacturer you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, it's more, smaller than this, smaller than this. So something is not so familiar with. So like we have, we have manufacturing in China in, with like about 400 employees. So in China, you consider like a small, small medium uh, man, manufacturer. I see. Okay, got it. So, so your key KPI is sort of number of transactions through your platform on a monthly basis because you know you make six hundred bucks on average per transaction. Yes. I see. Okay. So, what's next? How do you drive growth? So, the challenging part is actually getting more clients. Uh, what we do, we do basic, classic uh, content marketing and buying media. Uh, so, everything we we make from the platform, we put into the into the into marketing most of it. Uh, we don't withdraw salaries at the moment. We go completely bootstrap. Um, how many? How many of you are there? We are three. So it's me. I'm the I'm the technical guy, and I, I develop the algorithm and all the front end. And we have Adar, is the marketing genius, and we have uh, Asaf, which con contributes his about ten years of experience in the field. Mm -hmm. And and when you what are you paying right now to get a new customer? So to get a new customer that puts one two thousand dollar transaction through you in a month, how much will you pay to get that customer? Wow, that's that's we, at the moment we pay really nothing because most of our effort is not. We pay like very little for like buying ads. Um, we do like a lot of like hacking content marketing hacking. So we we basically we have a lot of content about three D materials. We just did a crazy crazy project. We scouted the internet for all the the three D materials and the three D processes, and and uh, we 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 hope this will drive more traffic through. Um, through SEO, and we do a lot of community. We we created our own uh, WhatsApp and and Facebook group, so mechanical engineers are engaged with us. What are you ranking for though, right now though, right? So when I go on Ahrefs and I put in giga3d.com, it says that you rank for just nine total keywords, none of which are manufacturing materials or anything like that. It's just your company name. I mean, have you written blog content on giga3d targeting keywords that manufacturers would be searching for? This is what we're doing in the moment. Like the, the last months, we're working hard on, on improving the oh, SEO. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this, these the articles are not live yet. Sorry? The, the articles are not live yet. Some of them are just go live. We just, we're just releasing it now. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. They're not showing up yet in search, which is why I was curious. But okay, so that's one of your growth plans. And then obviously, one of your three co-founders is super connected in the space. You're the tech genius, and the other founder is the marketing guru. Um, yeah. What I mean, so four or five years from now, if this thing takes off, right, how much volume do you think you can put through your platform in a month in terms of transactions? Look, the, like our biggest competitor, so to speak, is Zometry. Um, can you spell that? Make about Zometry. It's with an X. Um, so uh, we, we in Israel, we told them, Zometry, I don't know what is the American pronunciation, to be honest. They make, according to the internet, they make about uh, $100 million uh, per year. So we, we hope we can reach something like that in three to five years. Yeah, they say parts in as fast as a day, over 4,000 partners, uh, always open. They've probably raised a bunch of money. They focus on CNC machines, uh, machining, 3D printing, injection molding, sheet metal, et cetera. That's correct. So why would a company, you know, they list Dell Technologies and NASA on their, on their homepage as customers. Why, like, how do you win over NASA and Dell Technologies from Zometry? Oh, you would think you would think that the, the like there is a the competition will be hard and competition is hard, but there is so much pros and there's so much to do in this market. For example, we are operating mainly in Israel and in Europe, and most of our customers don't even know about Zometry. So 
there is so much more. Okay, so we're not we're not we're not gonna get NASA anytime soon, but we're gonna get other like we work with really really big uh, clients now in Israel. We're trying to to get a deal, and this is companies that they are like in size, they are like maybe maybe quarter of NASA or something like this. We're working with uh, with with medical startups and with uh, with defense startups and and some stuff I, I'm not allowed to talk about it because my co-founders will kill me if I do. Um, but it's really 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 big. Uh, uh, as you know, Israel is really is really big with all the defense industry. Yeah. Um, and, and do you guys and, have strong? Are you guys all all uh, Israelis? Yes. Do you do you have, obviously do you have connections to the defense industry? Everybody in Israel do. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> I want to make sure. So so do you plan on raising capital or do you want to stay bootstrapped? So. My 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 personal preferation is would be to, to be a bootstrap. My last startup, which was merged uh, by by another big company, so it was bootstrap all the time, and and I really believe in this method. But we we never say never, you know. If there's some like some um, really good VC with like what we call smart money, uh, will come and give us really good offer, we we wouldn't say no because it would really accelerate our growth. So something mm-hmm. we will do ourselves alone for one or two years with a VC funding, it will take us a few months. So, what do you think yeah. Zometry has raised? I mean, they raised $118 million. What do you think they've used it on? Um, Zometry, Zometry is a little bit different uh, because they have they are manufacturers themselves. So they have, they have the machines themselves. So um, I don't know, but I would, I would imagine they will do a lot of marketing and I imagine they will do, they will do some stuff inside in, inside their accounting to support their manufacturing and, and optimize their manufacturing costs. And we don't do it and we don't believe that we, we should own uh, machines because Airbnb and Booking, they are like the biggest hotel chain in the world. And and we we believe that we can be the biggest the biggest manufacturers without without any machines. Owning equipment. With, with yeah. You can yeah. be key critical distribution channel. Uh, very good. All right, let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? My favorite business book. Um, it's called by Dan Ariely. Um, it's a uh, predictably well, irrational. Company. Correct. Number number two is there a CEO you're following or studying? Oh, yeah, Josh uh, Josh Pickford is the CEO of Bearmetrics, and he completely bootstrap and he's doing a lot of things. And I'm really admiring his uh, attention span, doing like so many things at the same time. Number three, what's your favorite online tool for building your company? Um, uh, Uber suggest by New Patel. Uh, number three, how many hours of sleep are you getting every night? Uh, about eight. eight. And eight. what's your situation, Jonathan? Married, single, kids? Single. Okay, no kids? No kids. And how old are you? I'm 33 on Sunday. Oh, happy early birthday. Thank you. All right, last question. What do you wish you knew when you were 20? Um, be more focused in life. Guys, there you have it, giga3d.com, hoping to be the marketplace that manufacturers at Coca-Cola or engineers at Coca-Cola and these big companies go to to find manufacturers to put new parts, new prototypes through. They're scaling nicely, triple threat, team of three folks doing this full time. They've got about 10 transactions have gone through their system so far at about 2K a pop. Uh, 10 of those customers, sorry, 30 transactions have gone through at 10K, at 2K a pop, 10 customers total. So two to three kind of transactions per customer as they look to scale currently doing about $12,000 per month in revenue. Jonathan, thank you for taking us to the top. Thank you very much, Nathan, for having me here. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember, these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS 
founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at nathanlacka.com forward slash slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right. I'll be in the comments. See ya.